everyone, welcome back. So last night I pulled an all-nighter with someone who has never pulled an all-nighter before, so I had to, of course, you know, say, hey, movie marathon time. And one of the movies we watched was Ted, a movie that came out in 2012, written directed by Seth MacFarlane, creator of Family Guy, American Dad, Cleveland Show, all those shows. Uh, and that's the first thing I have to say about this. If you don't like Family Guy, if you don't like those kind of shows, you're not going to like this movie. So don't watch it. I know some people who have like, thought that, oh, it, it's different. I'm going to like it. No, you're not. Don't watch it. First thing I have to say. Now, if you do like Family Guy, you're going to freaking love this movie. This is, first of all, this is kind of an original idea. I mean, the fact that a teddy bear grows up to be a, a pot-smoking, prostitute-loving guy, that's awesome. And that is what it's about. It's about a, a little boy who wishes that his teddy bear came to life and they grow up years later and uh, they are potheads and and this teddy bear trash talks all the time and he's constantly cursing and he, he loves prostitutes. That's what this movie's about. So it is an awesome, original, different idea. Uh, Mark Wahlberg in this movie, he's fantastic. He does such a great job of playing this straight guy and playing this dumb guy at times and he just works so well especially with these moments when he's got to be the straight guy it just works wonderfully uh, Mila Kunis she's an actress that I don't always like I don't think she's always the greatest with acting I think she does a great job of being this character she you know this the Ted is getting in the way of their relationship Mark Wahlberg and her they're together she, he's getting in the way of their relationship. And does a great, she does a great job of not being a complete nag. I mean, she definitely gets naggy at times, but you can see where she's coming from. I think she does a great job of portraying the fact that, you know, she wants to be with this guy, but she can't be with him because he's constantly just smoking pot with a teddy bear. And I love that. Uh, Seth MacFarlane does the voice for Ted, and it, it does sound like Peter Griffin. And there's actually a joke in the movie that actually brings that up, so I, I mean, it works. And I, that's something I really like about this movie, is the fact that we relate to this thing. We don't, we relate to Ted. We don't think of him as a thing. We think of him as a person. And I love that, that bit about it. I love that, you know, we really relate to Mila Kunis' character when she wants to, you know, wants kind of Ted to go away a little bit. And we also relate to Ted because he is Mark Wahlberg's best bud. So, yeah, we, I love the fact that we relate so much to this character. Uh, guys, this movie's hilarious. I laugh from start to finish every single time. I've watched this movie way too many times now, probably over the 100 mark. I love this movie, and still, last night, still was laughing. And it's not because I was exhausted and tired. It was because it's funny. It's hilarious. I love this movie, and the humor in it is fantastic. Uh, guys, there's a poop joke in this movie. I hate poop jokes. I think it is the laziest kind of joke you can do, but there is a poop joke in here that is hilarious. It's fantastic. I mean, there's a couple fart jokes even in here. They all work. And, and again, another thing that can be lazy at times, and it, it works in this movie. Uh, it, it is a hard R rating. I will have to say that uh, this is a movie that offends literally you will be offended at some point in this movie, and you'll, you'll probably get over it, like I did, but like it insults nerds, it insults uh, gay people, it insults uh, blonde. I mean, it, it, it insults literally everyone out there, which I kind of love. It's not a movie that just sticks with one thing. It, 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 it goes for it all. Guys, we have to talk about the CGI in this movie, because Ted is not actually there. Uh, the CGI looks fantastic, and you can't tell a thing. It looks so great, and you think that Ted is on screen there with you. Uh, I There's a fight scene, really, that specifically I have to talk about, because there's a fight scene between Mark Wahlberg and Ted, and I actually showed the person I was watching this last night, I had to show him the behind-the-scenes footage, because it is so interesting to see how they film this scene. Sometimes they have the teddy bear, uh, have, like, the head of a teddy bear there. Sometimes you just have his arms. It's so interesting to see. It's so cool. I love how seamless they actually put Ted into this movie. 
Uh, now as for some negatives, uh, I feel like something that's been happening in the last few years especially is that comedies feel they have to get serious at the end. Uh, so in this movie, that happens. It gets very serious. The jokes stop a little bit. They're still there, but they, they really slow down and Comedy doesn't need to be serious. A comedy, the goal of a comedy is to make us laugh. And if we can laugh, it's doing its job right. So that is something that, you know, it, it slows down quite a bit towards the end. And it's been doing that with a lot of movies lately. If you look at, like, Dumb and Dumber 2, uh, um, I'm blanking because I'm tired. Uh, Ted 2, which I, I'll have a review of that up soon, too. But that movie does it. You know, lots of comedies just feel the need to be serious and become a true movie, but it's a comedy. Just make a laugh. That's all you have to do. The other thing I have to talk about is uh, the characters in this movie. <laughs> all the men are dumb idiots for the most part. Yet you got Ted's boss in this movie who is a complete moron. You got Mark Wahlberg's character who's kind of a complete moron. You got Neil Kunis' boss. He's a complete moron. And they're just all dumb. And then you have the women in this movie, and they're all pretty much whores besides Mila Kunis. Everyone else is just, you know, they're a prostitute or a whore, and so the, the people in the movie are kind of eh. Like I said, though, it's a comedy, so it works. Uh, I also have to talk about the fact that uh, Mark Wahlberg's character in this movie is very, very dumb, and uh, the person I watched it with last night was just he was extremely passionate about the fact of how stupid he was because he's dating Mila Kunis, like the hottest woman in the entire world, and he's doing these stupid decisions and make it, he's just, he's, he's an idiot sometimes, and I just had to mention that because the person I watched with last night was extremely passionate about it, and I was laughing more at him than I was at the movie at times because, well, he was extremely passionate about it, so I had to mention that. In the end, guys, this movie is a fantastic comedy. Uh, if you like Family Guy, if you like that kind of humor, you will like this movie. Check it out. It is very good. I'm going to give this movie an 8 out of 10. So guys, tell me what you think. Comment down below. Share. Subscribe. All that fun stuff. I'm going to take a nap.